Hi everyone, my name is Oluchi, a makeup artist and an esthetician. In this video, I will review the Ordinary Saccharomyces 30% Milky Toner. <laughs> yes. So basically, this is what it looks like right here. And in this bottle, you get 100 ml worth of product. It comes in a glass bottle. And then, to be honest, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first of its kind of toner from the ordinary because usually they make like acid toners and all that but this is something very different it's a milky toner it's hydrating it's just very different and you know i got this as pr and i was like oh that's so amazing you know i'm so excited about this and Honestly, I've been for the past one week I've been using this and I was like, oh, you know what? It would be nice to come out here and do a review, an honest review, and let you guys know my thoughts on this because I have my strong thoughts on this. So yes, that's why I'm here basically to tell you guys all about this. And the name is interesting, Saccharomyces ferment. And basically, this saccharomyce, if I'm correct, yes, I'm correct. <laughs> It comes from yeast and yes so anyway let's not take that route let's just go straight to the toner so this is a gentle exfoliating toner it is hydrating it is gentle on the skin it is suitable for all skin types it's not it's I mean it's like I don't know if I mentioned but it's gen it's a gentle exfoliator which is something I truly like because it's not like the fact that it's not like maybe um like a chemical exfoliant but yet it exfoliates and it hydrates at the same time that's so amazing and it leaves the skin brighter so basically helps to brighten the skin clearly because of the exfoliating effect and you know that i mean for something to be exfoliating that means it takes off dead skin cell thereby revealing you know the better fresher skin underneath it makes sense that the skin will you know in turn be brighter and it helps to reduce dark marks on the skin you know amongst other good things it does so i'm going to tell you you know my experience with it because i have been using it every single morning and so for this 100 ml worth of products you it costs 12 pound 40 and Okay, let me just mention the directions is that you use it after cleansing your face. So that's basically when you use any toner. And um, you can use it in the morning and you can use it in the evening. Like I said, I use mine every single morning, you know, but I think evenings, I don't remember using it religiously in the evenings. Maybe I think I use other toners in the evening, but certainly I use this in the morning. And okay, let's start with the smell. <laughs> This is fermented, um, a form of fermented yeast. So anything that's fermented clearly cannot have a pleasant smell. So this thing, to be honest, when I'm wiping my face with it, it's a bit off-putting, but I always hold my breath. It somehow smells like, sorry, too much information. Somehow smells like mild vomit, if you know what I mean. But like I said, I hold my breath. This is personally for me, other people may not find it to smell that way but i can understand because it's uh, like it's a ferment so ferment you know generally is not expected to have nice perfume scent to it so the smell for me is slightly off-putting but honestly i don't mind i think for me that's the only downside and then like it's is very milky in consistency i'm just going to put a little bit behind behind my hand so you guys can whew, see but okay so you can see it looks milky and then so basically i use this on a cotton pad so you can you apply put this some of it on a cotton pad or whatever it was used or can apply it directly on the face but the way it works best for me is i place it on a cotton pad and then swipe my entire face honestly i'm going to be like the i mean i thoroughly wash my face but whenever i you know use this to wipe my entire face and my neck hmm it helps to take off the extra dirt and then the dead skin cells like this is one thing i always see each time i use it like you would see those you can tell you see those dead skin cells like the cotton pad never comes back 
clear it always has some residues on it in essence it is exfoliating and because of that maybe i will tone like reduce the usage because i was like curious i was like let me use this every single day it hasn't done anything to me but i will reduce the usage because it is quite exfoliating so i and i'm always very careful when it comes with exfoliants even though it's, it exfoliates gently but what with it for the exfoliating power it is top top notch like I'm highly impressed with it and I'm very happy I got it and to be honest little goes a long way I just like I said wipe my entire face and my neck and I can clearly see visibly see the dead skin cells it's lifted off and after that my face doesn't feel dry because clearly it doesn't contain alcohol because alcohol can be very drying this does not contain alcohol and I would say personally for my use it leaves the face my face quite supple which is what i like it is my face doesn't feel tight you know it, my face feels supple and then so after using this i proceed with my other skincare products so i honestly like this and i'm very impressed with it and it's something that's possibly when it finishes i don't know how long this bottle is going to last because it looks quite tiny but like i said little goes a long way there's something about it even when i put little like it does go a long way so it's something that i may potentially repurchase when i run out of this and so this also helps with textural irregularities it helps the skin barrier and everything so it has a lot of you know benefits to the skin and how this you incorporate this into your skincare routine is first of all you use your cleanser after using whatever cleanser of your choice you follow up with your toner and if you follow me on my channel you know that i do not joke with toner so in my opinion like using a toner is non-negotiable for me i mean some people say that okay toners they're optional honestly yes they're optional but for me it's not non-negotiable i must use the toner and this is an amazing toner and i love me hydrating toners this is such a lovely toner so after cleansing your face you follow up with your toner if you have treatments or serums follow up with that then you moisturize your face and end with your spf but at night time same step cleanse your face use your toner use your treatments then treatments or serum then you moisturize your skin and that is it that's how to incorporate this into your skincare routine and so i believe that's all for today's you know review on this um the ordinary saccharomyces and i hope i'm pronouncing it correctly fermented percent milky toner like i said the downside for me is just the smell but it's so it's very i can you know i know how to get past it i just hold my breath when i'm wiping the area around my nose and that's it in a nutshell i hope you guys found this video really helpful if you did let me know in the comment section below have you tried it before are you going to try it? let me know and if you have any other suggestions let me know as well in the comment section below and with all that being said i'll catch you in my next one thanks for watching bye